If you've like me and you've tried to play Command and Conquer Red Alert 2 on your newer systems, you've run into a lot of frustrations and headaches trying to get it to work, and you probably haven't been able to. Well, I will show you how to get this game to work on newer systems. The system that I am using in particular is Windows 8, but this should work on Windows 7. I haven't tested that. And the very the version that I'm using is the Command and Conquer First Decade Edition. That's the version that I have tested. That's the version that I have. It sh hopefully it will work on other versions of Red Alert 2. I cannot promise that though. And this is also for Yuri's Revenge that I will show you as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is update it. Command and Conquer first decade patch. Only go with official. There is a version 1.03 community that made. Do not download that one. I tried it. It caused me problems. I couldn't get the games to run with it. It just caused a bunch of headaches for, for me anyway. So download the Command and Conquer first decade patch, the official version 1.02. And I will have all the links for every Thing we need to download in the description box below and all the config and any files we need to change I will have everything you need in the description box below so you can just copy and paste it into the file if you need to so once you have updated the game you're going to want to go to this bit web page right here bitpatch.com forward slash ddwrapper.html and download this file right here ddwrapper.zip once you have downloaded that file, you're going to want it's going to be a zip file, so you're going to extract it. And in the extracted folder, this these two files right here, ddraw.dll and aqrit.config, you're going to want to copy them and paste them into the Red Alert folder wherever that may be. So once you are in the Red Alert folder, the main folder, you're going to copy and paste them into this folder and you are going to open this aqrit.config file. The first time you open it, it will probably ask you what program you want to use. Just tell it to use Notepad. And when you first open it, all these right here are going to be zero. You're going to want to change them to these right here. Mostly ones except for the fake vsync interval. Or you can just copy and paste it straight from the description box below just replace all this copy and paste it in there once you have done that file save and you can close it once you have saved it the next thing you're going to want to do is scroll down to this area right here and open the ra2.any file if that file is not there if the game hasn't created it yet you're going to you're going to create it yourself so just right click go down to new text document and you're going to change everything even the extension and call it ra2.any enter and it's going to ask you if you want to change the file extension just click yes I'm not because I don't want it to mess up what I already have come on del ah, delete the whole thing no what is going on right now thank you okay you're going to open the file RE2.any. Scroll down till you see video. Now, if you just created this file, this whole area is going to be blank. There's nothing going to be there. So you're just going to copy and paste this from the description file into this file and save it. If this has been created, just scroll down here and replace everything under video with what's in the description below. Copy and paste this into here. Replace everything that's already there. Once you have did, done that, file and save. And same thing, scroll down a few files to ra2.ra2md.any. If that isn't there, same process. New text document and rename it to ra2md.any. You're going to open it up and same thing. Copy and paste what's in the description box below into this file. Replace the video portion if it's already there. Add it if it's not file and save. Once you have saved that, you're going to scroll up till you see game.exe. Right click, properties, compatibility. Run this program as Windows XP, Service Pack 3, reduced color mode, 16-bit, 
and as administrator click apply and OK and you're going to do that for game.exe gamemd.exe do the same thing run all the same compatibilities that we just did scroll down same thing for ra2.exe same compatibilities same exact compatibilities service pack 3 XP 16 bit administrator apply OK and same thing for RA2MD.exe not the icon don't get those two mixed up but RA2MD.exe right click it properties compatibility and same thing so once you have done that those four files and I will make mention that these right here the RA2MD.ene and RA2MD.exe those are for Yuri's Revenge and same thing GameMD.exe that's for Yuri's Revenge if you don't have that don't worry about it if you do go ahead and change it as well so once you have changed that for all four of those files you're going to want to go to your control panel settings control panel hardware and sound power options and make sure you have high performance selected if you don't see this there it is likely under show additional plans click it change it to that and X now once you have done that you just open up the file I have the launcher right here for the first decade edition red alert 2 click yes and there we go skip the intro videos and everything works all the menus single player let's just go into a quick game right here start game it's loading and here we are completely playable bam alright so let's exit out of here abort mission quit back main menu exit game okay now I do want to make mention if you open this game and it comes up but when you get to your menu screen and the menu section is gray there's nothing there you can't select anything go into your ra2.any file and go down to video in this part right here stretch movies change that to yes file save and it will open and it will work like you just seen but it will change this it will change this back to no once you open it but it will continue to work after you do that one process don't know what causes it to do that why it continues to work but it does just change that to yes for one time and it will work and keep going from there now the Yuri's Revenge, I have a little problem with it sometimes. Once you made all those sections, just open it, and if it doesn't come up, if it doesn't draw the gameplay footage, just alt tab out of it, open your task manager, to cancel the process, end task, and open it again, and do it a couple tries if you need to, and it will open. And once it opens, it will continue to work from then all out. So let's see, opening it. and there we go in game alright the recorder that I'm using my time limit is about to expire so here you are your ease revenge working just fine like I said if it doesn't draw the first time just alt tab out of it and keep opening it until it does and then it should continue to work for you after that if for some reason something changes just run through all the settings that I just gave you make sure they're all set the same thing all your files are set change that stretch movies to yes once if you have to and there you go I hope you enjoyed it if you notice this doesn't require any trick with changing um, making false displays like other solutions you may have seen on the internet you don't have to do that this works I hope this helped you and I'll have a good day